As you can tell, they put a lot of work into making the burger here. It's like all made from scratch. Now, if all gastropubs made food this gourmet, I would be going to gastropubs like every week. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Pasadena on Colorado Boulevard because I'm gonna be checking out one of the hottest food and drink establishments in town. Behind me is King's Row Gastro Pub. This is the highest rated gastro pub in Pasadena. Yelp, Google, you name it. They have craft drinks, fresh made food, and all around fun experience. So this is the video you must stick all the way to the end of because I'm gonna show you a really fascinating spot that you can eat at here in Pasadena if you love food and drinks and sports. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be heading into this gastro pub which just opened. Wow, it's actually through this little hallway. All right, I see it. Kings Row has been here for about 13 years. It is a super popular gastro pub in Pasadena. They have a lot of drinks on the menu, but it's not a place just for drinks because I heard that their food is actually pretty spectacular here. So you're not gonna find like typical gastro pub quality food. And it gets even better because you can even go downstairs. Oh yeah, down these steps right here. And this is the pathway that goes to the restroom, but there's more than just a restroom. There's actually an arcade down here. You see all these arcades? Like from back in the 80s and 90s. Heading back up the stairs, and that's not all, folks, because if you like outdoor seating, King's Row has got it too. Wow, look at that. So it is kind of chilly right now, but I think when the weather is perfect, then it's definitely nice to sit out here during the day. But at nighttime, they do have these heat lamps, so you can have a nice romantic night out here. When you come into this restaurant, you immediately see this big menu that's right up here. Wow, it makes ordering so easy. You see, you got the starters, you got uh, their naan, which I heard is actually very good here, even though it's not an Indian restaurant. Uh, wings are also very popular. And I heard their best sellers are the cheeseburger. Yeah, for sure, I'm gonna get that. Okay, these specials look pretty good as well. Ooh, you see even dessert. And then if you want some salads, they got some salads. So they are very much known for their cocktails. That's the hibiscus salt. And I'm gonna be doing the Kelsey Margarita. So we got hibiscus flavor tequila, which I have never had before. But anything that is flowery or fruity, I'm very open to it. I can give it a try. Cranberry, agave, lime. So if you guys are into like that citrusy type of drink, then I think this is your margarita. Wow, it's so pink. I love it. Isn't that color so cool? I think this is the first time I've had a drink at a gastro pub because I don't go to gastro pubs that often. So this is kind of a new experience to me. Oh, tasty. It's like a margarita that has a cranberry, kind of limey flavor, which is good because I love cranberry juice. And that I believe is the beef chuck. So this is used for the burger. And as you can see, you have no pre-packaged stuff going on. This is like fresh meat, just like you would find in any really gourmet restaurants out in LA. So one of the things you're gonna notice about this restaurant is how fresh the food is here. The burgers, you know, the meat they cut up and then they grind in house and then they put it on the grill. So this is definitely one of the things that you should be looking for if you go to a gastro pub or any sports bar and you want awesome food. Okay. Nice double patty cheeseburger. The wings are also another popular gastro pub food. And the good thing about these wings here is that if you want more than one flavor, I believe you can do even two flavors. You can even split it up, which is what I'm gonna do today. And I guess that's how they cook the naan, they grill it. 
And I think this is the first time I've seen it made this way. But then again, I've not seen it made in a non-Indian restaurant before. On the main street, you're gonna have to either street park or there's some lots here where it's like two hour parking for a dollar or something like that. But it's totally worth it if you're gonna be eating some awesome food, right? I mean, look at this amazing spread. And this is just the beginning. I got more coming out. Starting off pretty hot with some wings. These are the $17 wings, which are brined Mary's organic chicken. So you get a choice of a few sauces on the menu. I got the uh, buffalo. Very classic. You see the blue cheese crumbles on top with green onions. And this one is their very popular chipotle honey. Okay, now here's an item I haven't seen in too many gastro pubs, the naan. This is the flatbread that you would find in a lot of Indian restaurants. And I think for the most part, it does look pretty similar, but I'm very curious to see what it tastes like. And this one is their cheeseburger. So it's house ground, creek stone farms, chuck and brisket. So you get two kinds of meat in there along with the King's Row sauce, some sort of a Thousand Island recipe of theirs, and pickles, onions, sesame bun. I heard uh, this came from an Indian chef who used to work here or something like that, but it's all good as long as it tastes great, right? Wow, that thing is so fluffy. So this thing is stuffed with cheese inside of it. It's a, this is a favorite here, a lot of people get it. So if you like the Indian flatbread with kind of a, you know, an American twist, then I think you're gonna like this, especially if you love cheese. And this is the first time I've actually had cheese inside of a naan. I don't think I've ever had cheese with naan before. This is quite something, you see, they got a lot of innovative food here. Yeah, you gotta be careful because this thing can be pretty hot when it comes out of the kitchen. So that's why I waited just a little bit. Wow, that is an explosion of flavor. See, I like these buffalo wings because it's so crispy still. I mean, you can still taste the crispiness like it came out of the deep fryer. The buffalo sauce, very classic buffalo sauce, and just has a little bit of a kick, a little bit of heat to it. So it's not like totally non-spicy, a little bit of a spice. But what I think is pretty cool is the addition of the blue cheese that's on top of it. Because I think blue cheese is so good whether it's on salad or wings like this. I mean, who doesn't like buffalo wings, right? If you don't know what other flavors to get, this screams American right here. Did I mention how big these wings are? I mean, they're not like the really tiny kinds of wings. These actually are pretty hefty. Wow, I love that crispiness. That is a big plus. Wow, that honey chipotle sauce is really good. I think this is probably my favorite of the two. Just because it's like unique and so flavorful. You definitely taste the sweetness of the honey, a little bit of that spicy chipotle flavor. Perfect combination. And did you guys know that Pasadena is the birthplace of the cheeseburger? So what a fitting place to eat this food. Now that is a very good, juicy burger. You're not gonna be disappointed. This is a very good tasting, very classic cheeseburger. So you got the pickles in here, the cheese, you got some onions in there. Look how big it is, double patty. I heard a lot of people get this one here. So definitely a winner, yes. Since I'm already here at this restaurant, might as well try a few more items, like their 50-50 barbecue ranch burger and I heard this is super popular here as well so it's house ground creek stone farms chuck and brisket like the last burger that I had with the house ground uh, bacon fried shaved onions barbecue sauce house ranch sesame buns American cheese looks fantastic okay this one I heard is really one of the best things at this restaurant the cheesesteak sandwich so it's creek stone shaved prime ribeye Swiss cheese, grilled onions, served on an Amoroso roll. And it comes with some, looks like jalapenos too. That is a beautiful sandwich and the bun looks like it's been toasted so wonderfully. Yes, it's almost kind of like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich or their version of it.
Wow. Now I can see why this one's popular. The meat is pretty thinly sliced and it's so crispy too. It's been grilled to crispy perfection. And there's a lot of cheese in there. See all the steam coming out of it? So yes, this is pretty much kind of like their version of the Philly cheesesteak sandwich, which I haven't actually had in quite a long time. So yes, if you're looking for the sandwich at this restaurant, I heard that this cheesesteak sandwich is the way to go. Now, why on earth did I order a second burger? Because this one apparently is kind of different from the cheeseburger. This one is the 50-50 burger because there is bacon that's mixed into the beef patty. So you're eating beef and pork, bacon, as well as the signature ground beef they have in here. And this is the first time I think I've ever had a burger like this before. Only here at King's Row. Wow, so juicy. I suppose this is what a burger would look like if bacon and beef had a child and it was the burger. It's this one right here. It's actually good. It works good. I'm telling you, you should definitely get this if you want to try something that's like really new on the menu you've never tried before. Bacon, beef, burger. In the patty. Wow, this is quite something. I don't think any other restaurant has this. It is so worth ordering here. And this one is truly a unique item. So this is called the Pasadena Hot Fish and Chips. So it's kind of made in the style of a Nashville hot chicken. And this is, I think the first time I've seen them make fish and chips this way. All right. So that right there is a fried snapper. You got their Pasadena hot rub, tartar sauce, as well as French fries all underneath. All right, let's try some of the spicy fish and chips. Just like a Nashville hot chicken, but fish and chips instead. You know, like that Nashville hot chicken flavoring? Crust is so nice and crispy, like really airy, crispy, perfectly battered. Fish is so thick. I think so far this is my favorite item here out of all of them. So if you don't get any of the burgers, you should definitely get the fish and chips because this is really like one of the top fish and chips I think I've had in one of these kind of restaurants. And it does come with a lot of fries underneath as well. Wow, very good too. So you can come in here and hang out at the bar, get some drinks. But if you stay and eat here, like a typical restaurant experience, you're gonna be pretty satisfied because the food here is pretty high quality. And even this ice cream sandwich, one of their specialties here. Yeah, so you can get everything from food to drinks to desserts. They got the arcade downstairs too. So yeah, remember here in Pasadena, on Colorado Boulevard at the King's Row, if you wanna eat at the most famous gastropub in Pasadena, definitely worth a visit. All right guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out to Ati, who is one of the awesome chefs here at this restaurant. Yes. So tell him or the staff that you saw this video and they're gonna hook you up with their famous ice cream sandwich with dine-in, is that right? Yeah, come in. All right, anyways, thank you so much for watching. You know what to do, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.